Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Lane. Today, we're doing a fantasy draft rebuild. I haven't done one of these in a while. So if you want to see more of these, leave it down in the comments below. Hit that like button. But we have pick number 20. Juju was taken right before this. I don't think he had a great season. Not sure why he's still up there. McCaffrey, 99 overall. We're not going to do that. I feel like quarterback has to be the pick. And you know what? We're going to get Russell Wilson on the team. I don't know if I've ever taken it before. 97 overall, that superstar X Factor. Seems pretty good. Now, where do we want to go with this? Clowney's off the board. Bobby Wagner's there. I don't know about that. We could go Tyree Kill. We could go Kelsey if we wanted to. Eh, Quinn Nelson might be the pick. And a 94 overall, he's also a scheme fit. Let's add him to the team. Superstar development, that's going to work out. Marquise Brown off the board. Wow. Antonio Brown still kicking around for some reason. Robinson, we could go with Galladay. Wouldn't be a bad pick. DJ Moore. Not sure. Probably a defensive player. Calais Campbell, no. Miles Garrett. Now, I think he's probably suspended in this, so we probably can't pick him. Michael Pierce is there. Von Miller. David, we're not going to do that. Davis. Jason McCourty. Lattimore is there. Add him to the team. I mean, come on. I know he didn't have a great season, but he's still a good player. Zach Martin's off the board. Derrick Henry's still there. Wait a minute. McCaffrey's gone. You know what? Get Derrick Henry on the team. I can't believe McCaffrey's gone. I think that's the earliest I've ever seen him taken. And I don't really like taking running backs in the fourth round, so that was a little strange. Now, what did I want to go with? No, uh, there was a corner I wanted to get, but he's long gone. So we'll wait on that. Free safety. Buda Baker would not be a bad idea. Amos is there. Is Von Miller still there? No. Zedaria Smith, though. Van Der Esch is there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go Buda Baker with this pick. With that star development, 84 overall. We have a lot of young players on this team, which is perfect. Uh, let's go to the outside linebackers now. Van Der Esch is gone. Really? Before Zedaria Smith? I can't believe that. Shane Zayer is there. We're not going to pick him, though. Preston Smith, no. Let's go. Why am I way down here? I kind of like Kawan Alexander a little bit more than Zadarius Smith. But being an 88 overall, I kind of just have to take him. So add him to the team. That'll be perfect. We still could go Alexander. Put him a right outside linebacker if we wanted to. Lawson's gone. Let's go to receiver. We probably should get one or two of these guys. Not really. Maybe Sammy Watkins, DK Metcalf's down there. What is his development? Hidden development. So I think we definitely will get him and AJ Brown. You know what? It's been such a long time since I've done one of these. These guys' overalls have skyrocketed. So if I get DK Metcalf, if I get AJ Brown, we're really not going to miss out on any other receiver. Where is he? Really? AJ Brown just got taken that round. I'm going to go Debo Samuel then. I can't believe that. I kind of would have rathered A.J. Brown. I don't know. I'm a big fan of A.J. Brown. There's a lot of speculation that Brady could go to the Titans and end up on, like with A.J. Brown. With Derrick Henry? Seems pretty good. Now, could use some offensive line help, I suppose. But do I want to go with the older players? Like Shaq Mason's there. We could go with that. How old is Havenstein? 27 years old, add him to the team. For some reason, right tackles fly off the board. Don't really understand it. Let's go with the left tackle now if we can. Whitworth, nah. You know what? Whitworth might play two years, so let's add him to the team. So we have most of our offensive line set so far. Could go with this. Actually, I want to see if Shaq Mason's still there. If he is, I will add him to the team. Ugh, but then I think... Is he a starter? He's 27 years old. How's Mason? Let's get Shaq Mason on the team, and then we'll wait on center, so we're not going to have to draft an offensive lineman, basically. I mean, we'll have to replace Whitworth eventually. Let's go on defense. What do we have? A corner free safety and a left outside linebacker. So let's look at middle linebacker. So let's see if Alexander's still there. There's no way he is. No. Clay Matthews is still there for some reason. KJ Wright would not be a bad idea. Jamie Collins, but I think we'll wait on that. Sheldon Richardson at 28 years old. Or I'm going to go Sheldon Richardson. I know he's a little old. I'm pretty good at drafting defensive tackles. So we have to do that. That is fine. Make another selection. Trubisky's off the board. Whew. 
I really wanted to get him on my team. Rashad Jones, we're not going to do. Vaccaro, on the other hand, at 28 years old, really not that bad. Joseph's also pretty young, so we can go with that. Uh, we're fine at right out. Oh, no, we didn't take Jamie Collins. That's right. Let's look at the ends, because we have, what, no ends so far. That's not good. That's really not good. Terrell Suggs is there if we wanted to do that. Let's go Shaq Lawson, right? Star development, 25 years old. That's a good young pick for the team. He should develop pretty quickly, I would assume. Brissett to the Panthers. Now, I saw on left end, or sorry, a left end. Yeah, hand right here as star, right? Yeah, add him to the team as well. So, two young ends at star development. 78 overall, pretty good. Now, what I want to look for, probably a strong safety, right? But I'm not, man, I'm not really not seeing anybody. Maybe Edmonds, but I think he has normal development. Yeah, so maybe not. Let's, oh, Julia Love's there if we wanted to do that. Let's go with Levi Wallace. I thought he had star development. What happened? I could have sworn he had star development before, but maybe I'm just completely wrong, which I probably am. Let's look at the middle linebackers. Zach Brown, no. Jerome Baker, do you have star? No, normal. I mean, we could take him, and that wouldn't really be a bad idea. Tranquil's there. Is Tavai star? No. All right, I'm going to go. What about Woodyard? Oh, he's 33. Never mind. Mason Foster? A lot of older guys up here, so let's get Jerome Baker on the field. Or on our team, rather. I guess he's not going to be on the field quite yet. What round are we in? We're in round 17. We'll do about 20, 21 rounds. We don't really need much. A strong safety. I have to address that right now. Sean Williams is 28 years old. Eric Reed, for some reason, has star. Oh, he doesn't have star development. Eric Rose there. I'm just not really sure where to go with this pick. TJ Ward still on the list for some reason. I don't understand that whatsoever. I guess Jalen Ferguson? I think that'll be a good pick. He's a good player. I know he's a normal development guy, 72 overall, so not that great. But we'll be able to deal with it for now. I want to see if we can get another receiver, a young guy. I mean, we could go with an older guy if we wanted to. Goodwin fell down big time. Yeah, I'm not seeing anybody that's jumping off the screen at me. We could go with Perriman. He looked great with Jameis Winston. Let's get Renfro on the team. A hidden development guy, which I did not know till right now. We probably should address the center position, right? And then again, we're going to have to draft one more than likely. Ah, but Pouncey for a year is not a bad idea. Or Ben Jones for a year. Do either of them have a development that's not normal? No. I like Pouncey. I like the Pouncey brothers. They're kind of fiery guys. That's the kind of guy I want to have on my team. Let's look at the defense. We need a strong safety, which I might just leave up to the computer realistically. Any corners? Eli Apple, Davis. Not really seeing anybody, so I think that might be another position we just leave up to the computer. So I actually might just skip ahead now. I'm going to take one more look around in case I see somebody that I need to have on my team. But it's not looking good. Wilkins is there, but I think he has normal, right? Which doesn't really make sense to me. Cleveland Farrell is up here. I'm going to add him to the team. I think he has a ton of potential. Not sure how he did for the Raiders this year. I probably should. I don't follow, like, rookies all that much. Uh, then let's go to tight end. Jimmy Graham, welcome to the team. And let's sim the rest of this. So I drafted an 84 overall team, 89 offense, which is awesome. But that's 79 defense. We have a lot of work to do. Let's go to the playoffs. It looks like we missed the playoffs. Yes, we did. How did we do? That is not great. It's 7-7-2. Bills and Jets, 9-7. The Dolphins still can't perform well at 2-14. Let's look at the stats. Wilson, 4,400 yards, 37 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. Awesome year. Henry, 1,200 yards, 9 touchdowns. Receiving Redfro, 1,000 yards, 6 touchdowns. Metcalf, 942 with 8. Graham, 879, 6 touchdowns. Debo Samuel, 677 with 3. Henry with 6. Cameron Bray with 6. On defense, Baker, 112 tackles. Sack total, 6.5 for Richardson, 5.5 for Smith, 5 for Lawson. Interceptions, 1 for Swearinger, Lattimore, Wallace, and Mayo. 
who is David Mayo? I've never heard of a David Mayo before. Prescott with the MVP. Wilson's at number three, which I like to see. No other Patriots. Coach of the year, we wouldn't be there. Offensive play of the year, Russell Wilson. I love it. Mixon's up there. Wentz, Tannehill. Jameis Winston. Defensive play of the year, Buckner. All right. No Pats. Offensive rookie of the year. We have Metcalf, five. Renfro, six. No Debo? Huh. Defensive rookie of the year. Tranquil's up there. Wow. We could have taken him, too. And then we have Farrell at number nine. Not bad. I mean, we didn't draft many guys, so kind of expected. Let's take a look at our XP, which I imagine is a good amount. One for, okay, four for Metcalf, four for Samuel, three for Renfro, all with start development. So they're going to start to come along pretty quickly, I would assume. And on defense, nothing's really here. Let's go find out who's going to win that Super Bowl. The Packers beat the Bills 31-28. to The Bills still can't get it done. Newton with a Super Bowl championship. 287, three touchdowns. Wentz, 238 with two. Hyde with a touchdown. Jacobs with a touchdown. Anderson with a touchdown. Burton with a touchdown. Two for Ellison and one for Logan. I mean, I guess T.Y. Hilton's here, Robert Woods, but not many guys. Let's go to the draft. So we should have like a mid-round draft pick, I would assume. Number, okay, basically right in the middle. Not exactly the middle, but number 15, pretty close. Let's see what the Dolphins take. A middle linebacker. That's really what's holding your team back, Miami. Like, what is going on? Jalen Stanley, the receiver. Let's go. We don't need a receiver, even though Branson looks really good. We need defensive help. Defensive tackle, eventually. Middle linebacker we could use. I don't know about that pick. A center we could use right outside linebacker. Early second round, we're not going to do that. So it's really, do we go with Whitlock, the middle linebacker? We could go with Huntley, the defensive tackle. And I feel like that has to be the pick, so let's take him. He's a 78 overall, hidden development, 22 years old. 93 strength, 80 block shed, 78 power moves, 75 finesse. In the second round, I'm taking left tackle, Nash Curtin. He's a 69 overall, but with hidden development, I like to see that. 89 strength, 74 run block, 68 pass block. In the third round, I drafted middle linebacker Kilroy. He's a 68 overall. In the fourth, the left outside linebacker, he's a 64 overall. And the rest of the draft wasn't anything too special. Heading into the year, we're an 84 overall team, 88 offense, 80 defense. And we basically look exactly the same. Whitworth did retire, not a huge deal. And on defense, we didn't really get much better. A little bit better, I suppose, but... Nothing too special. Let's go to the playoffs. Will you look at that? We got a first round bye in the playoffs. We went 14 and 2. What changed? The Bills 8, 7, and 1, Jets 7, 8, and 1, and the Dolphins up to 6 and 10. Thankfully for that middle linebacker. Wilson, 3,700 yards, 40 touchdowns, 5 interceptions. That's why. Henry, 1,300 yards, 10 touchdowns. Clement with 8. Receiving Metcalf, 937, 6 touchdowns. Cameron Braid, 737 with 7. Debo, 668, 4 touchdowns. Renfro, 650 with 10. A lot of touchdowns to go around. I like to see that. On defense, Baker, 98 tackles. Nothing too special. Sack totals, 9 for Richardson, 7.5 for Lawson and Huntley, the rookie. 4.5 for Baker. Interceptions, 4 for Wallace, 2 for Baker and other Baker. 1 for Kilroy Millis, or Mills rather, and Lattimore. I was going to say, Millis doesn't sound right. Yelly Awards. Stafford with the MVP, beating out Russell Wilson. Really? Coach of the year, we're going to win that. That's good to see. Offensive play of the year, Russell Wilson. We should see Henry up here, but of course we don't because why would we? Defensive play of the year, CJ Mosley. No pats up here. Offensive rookie of the year. Nothing. Defensive rookie of the year, Hunley and Kilroy, two and three. We also have Pitt Mental in number seven. That's pretty good. Not really sure how to say that name. You could probably pick up on that by how I said it. But let's see what Huntley development's going to be along with all our other XP. One for Wilson's up to a 99 still. Curtin with nine superstar development. Yes, that's exactly what we needed. Huntley has five XP points star development. Where is, okay, so here's our left outside linebacker. He has three. There's Kilroy with five. So really not that bad. I mean, I'll take it any day of the week. Let's upgrade, or upgrade our team. That's nine XP points. That's so crazy. 
And we got him in the second round, just kind of like a whim. I was like, yeah, why not? Let's take him. Can we beat the 8-7-1 Cincinnati Bengals? Yes, we can. Can we beat the Jaguars? Get to the Super Bowl. Win the Pat 7 Super Bowl Championship? Certainly might be able to do that. Let's hop in. And away we go. Can we beat the Atlanta Falcons in the Super Bowl? They're up 3-0. That's no problem for the Patriots, though. What is 6 points? What's even 13 points? I like Okay, thankfully, we finally got some points. We'd like a little bit more, though. I'm just saying. 16-14, to 14, not bad. All right, we're up 17-16. to 16. The Falcons could just never get it done, apparently. Or they can last second. What a way to lose the Super Bowl, right? Jackson, of course. Wilson, 304, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Jackson, 269, two touchdowns, two interceptions. And did you guys see Jackson's uh, skills challenge? Is like the accuracy thing so bad. Henry, 107, Chubb with 40. Braid, 77 yards, touchdown for Robinson, touchdown for Renfro. Max Williams as well. Jimmy Graham with a touchdown. What a shame. Now we're going to have the 31st overall pick. We don't re-sign players or anything in this just because they just got new four-year contracts. So we're good to go on that. That's why I skip over that. Skip over free agency. Just doesn't make sense. Now we still need a lot of help on defense. Don't need a running back. Don't need a quarterback. Don't really need a left outside linebacker for being honest. I could use a corner. I don't really want to go with an end. I don't. But I'm not really seeing anybody. Maybe a tight end? Early first. Let's get Miles on. 76 overall. Normal development. 79 speed. 78 catching. 58 run block. 76 awareness. In the second round, I took middle linebacker Barker. 65 overall. And in the third receiver, Copeland. 67 overall. The rest of the draft wasn't any good. So heading into the year, we're an 87 overall team. 91 offense. 83 defense. And the offense looks really good. The defense still needs some work to do a right outside linebacker, middle linebacker, cornerback definitely. Couldn't really find anything though. So let's go to the playoffs, see how we do. We made the playoffs, but didn't get a first round bye at 11 and five. That's a little disappointing. We went 11 and five, Bill seven and nine, the Jets six and 10, the Dolphins still can't do anything at five and 11. Wilson, 4,700 yards, 43 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, great year. Henry, 1,100 yards, 7 touchdowns, a little bit of a drop-off. Metcalf, over 1,000 yards, 13 touchdowns. Bray, 944 with 7. Renfro, 897, 8 touchdowns. Samuel, 813 with 6. Henry with 3. Ah, with 3, the rookie. That's good. On defense, Kilroy, 108 tackles. Baker, 107. Sack totals, 8 for Smith, 7 for Lawson, 4.5 for Richardson in hand, 4 for Huntley. Was expecting a little bit more out of you. A once for a lot of people on defense for interceptions. Not really too concerned about it. Yelia Wards. Wilson with the MVP. Finally. I love to see that. No. What? Who is Kruger? Sam Kruger. Coach of the year. Wow. The Giants went 16 and 0. We have to check out their team in a second. Offensive player, Russell Wilson. That's the third straight year, I believe. Defensive player of the year, Miles Garrett. We have Baker, number nine. Why don't we have... um? Oh, uh, what is this? The Kilroy. Why is it Kilroy up there? We have audit number four, our tight end. The Elks, defensive rookie of the year. Nothing. I have to check out the Giants really quick. Who do they have on their team? Mahomes, okay, 43-4. and four. Dalvin Cook, 19 touchdowns. Brandon Cooks, Jeffrey, Josh Hill's on the team. Nothing too crazy, though. What about our defense? They have Miles Jack. Sack totals, Justin Houston with 17. Hargraves on the team. I don't really get how they're 16-0. Is it just because of Patrick Mahomes? That seems a little strange. I've never had Patrick Mahomes. I did have a video that I drafted him, but it got all messed up, so I couldn't use it. Four for Curtains, that's pretty good. What about Ott? He has three up to a 79, which is good. And on defense, nothing really. What is, what is killer? 377. That's not terrible, I suppose. Let's give it an upgrade. Let's see if we can get back to that Super Bowl. I, I would really like to do that. Just one of these years. We have one more year left after this year. Let's advance the week. Can we beat the Pittsburgh Steelers? No, we can't. We lost 31 to 28. Let's go find out who's going to win the Super Bowl and check out both those scores at the same time. So we lost 31 to 28. So it was a close game. Who's the quarterback for their team? Trip Green, 339, three touchdowns with an interception. Wilson played great. 
Madison, Henry with a touchdown, Green with a touchdown. Devontae Parker, 9 for 122 with a touchdown. Eric Ebron with a touchdown. Renfro with two, Humphreys with one, Clement with one. All right, if you say so. I don't really get it. Who won the Super Bowl? The Jaguars beat the Seahawks 42 to 28. Andrew Luck still in the game for some reason. Four touchdowns with an interception. Rodgers two for two. Singletary with a touchdown. Carry on Johnson with a touchdown. Kelsey 104. Touchdown for Curtis Samuel. Touchdown for OJ Howard. Touchdown for Davis, Ortiz, Kelly, and Wesco. Okay, let's go to the draft. We have the 24th overall pick. What are we going to do with this? This is our last draft for this video. A left end, a running back? I don't think so. That corner doesn't look all that great. It's center. There's really nobody jumping off the screen at me. Late second round talent. Early second round talent. I, I, I don't know. Late second round. What is going on right now? Late first round does not look any good. I think I'm going to go with John Silver. Let's take him. He's a 72 overall normal development. 62 power move, 81 finesse, 83 speed, 84 acceleration. In the second round, I took receiver DeMoss. He's a 66 overall. In the third round, right end Troutman, 61 overall. Couldn't find any good corners. It's very disappointing. It's a shame that we're going to be an 87 overall team, 92 offense, 83 defense, and not win a Super Bowl. I can almost guarantee that. Metcalf's up to superstar development, by the way, which is awesome. We're looking pretty good, I would say. I like our team all around. Could be a little bit better at corner, obviously, but not much I could do about that. Let's go to the playoffs. Is this real life right now? We got a wild card spot in the playoffs at 10 and 6. And we're playing against the 9 and 7 Kansas City Chiefs. The Jets went 12 and 4. Bill 6 and 10 and the Dolphins just so pathetic, even with a fantasy draft at 5 and 11. Wilson, 43 out of yards, 36 touchdowns, 14 interceptions. Henry, 1,300 yards, 11 touchdowns, more with 10, which is great to see. Receiving Metcalf over 1,000 yards, 10 touchdowns, Ott, 936 with 6. Skinner, 733 with 8. Debo, 634 with 4. On defense, Baker, 97 tackles. Sack totals, 9 for Huntley, 6 for Hand, 5.5 for Smith. Interceptions, 3 for Baker, 2 for McDougal, Lattimore, and Wallace. A few ones to go around. I feel like we're going to be one and done in the playoffs. It's going to be very disappointing. Watson with the MVP. Wilson, number two. No other pads. Coach of the year, Adam Gase. We're there, number seven. Offensive player of the year, Deshaun Watson. Wilson, number two. I wanted to go four for four in offensive player of the years. Garrett, one. Tranquil, two. Nobody from our team. Offensive rookie of the year, we have Cooper in nine. Defensive rookie of the year, we have Silver in number eight. I mean, it's not great, don't get me wrong, but not bad. Now, what are we going to have for XP before we go on a run? You know, we're going to go on a good run. I, just, you know, I said we're going to lose. Let's actually try to win, you know? We have four for Metcalf, which is good. One for Debo Samuel. And on defense, nothing, basically. We're silver. He has 375. Like, who cares? That's nothing special. Not really too concerned about it. Let's give our team an upgrade. And let's see if we can go on this run. I think we... Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of stuck between two worlds. Madden hates me, but I also think we have a good team. So I'm just kind of stuck right in the middle with it. I'm not sure what's going to happen. All right. I guess we. I just had a good feeling. Can we get to the conference championship? We can. Can we get to the Super Bowl? I think we certainly should be able to. Yes, we can. Playing against the Falcons again. And away we go. The Pats beat the Falcons once. The Falcons beat the Pats once. Who's going to win the rubber game? We are up 14 to nothing. 21 to nothing so it should be us but who knows crazier things have happened we're in the third quarter though 21 to 10 and i'm not too sure why we're stalling out thank you 28 16 and this game's over right that is the ball game gonna win this super bowl in our final year i love it beating lamar jackson wilson 331 two touchdowns jackson 270 uh, 276 one touchdown one interception Henry with a touchdown, Chubb with a touchdown, Jackson Moore with a touchdown, Metcalf 70 yards with a touchdown, Renfro switching teams with a touchdown. Not sure how that happened. It's going to with a touchdown. But that is going to be it for this video. If you like the video, give it a like down below. Make sure to check out my channel, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.